by there. Hello. Megan, you got me quiet. Hi, Miss Rita. Hi, baby. I got Fagin barking today. He's acting up this afternoon. Hey, Tina. Hey, Haley. All right, y'all. Uh, trying something a little different today. Hopefully, it'll be a quick, fast dinner. Just I'll tell y'all what I got over here. Uh, I'm gonna make chimichangas. I don't really know how you say it. Chimichanga, chimichanga. <laughs> uh, beef chimichanga. And I don't have any taco sauce, and it calls for So I had some of uh, some of these. I threw my can away. I don't know what they're called. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. So I thought, well, I would just blend them up and pretend it's my taco sauce. I don't know. So, anyway, it's a little thick for taco. But we're going to put a little bit of it in there. We'll see. <laughs> Happy fall, Shelly. Yeah, I have my fall decorations out. So, I love to decorate for fall. I, I love decorating for fall probably as much, if not more, than decorating for Christmas. I've always said summer is my favorite season, but actually, I like all seasons. Every time it's time for a new season to roll around, I'm ready for it. So, uh, I don't really like cold. I don't like to be cold, I, you know. But uh, in cold weather, I get tired of it. But, you know, I like that crisp, cool air. And I, I am a summertime girl. But I do, I do love fall. And fall is my favorite season, really, because of the decor and the food and my birthday. <laughs> so, I'm trying to get these... They're not good. I just little ninja uh, thing and sh just uh, blending them up a little bit. So, okay, uh, I've got some hamburger meat on the back on the back here, and I'm gonna brown it up. Let me go ahead and get that started. So I'm gonna let that start getting brown. I like to put a lid over it. Kind of lets it cook a little faster. Hey, Beth. Hey, Cindy. So while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dice up a little bit of onion. I'm not going to put much onion in it. Um, probably about a quarter of this onion. Let me go ahead and dice it a little bit. Uh want it very small too because I don't really want a lot of onion in it. Um, some recipes I looked at had onion and some didn't. Some had corn, but I decided not to put the corn in. I'm basically going to do beef and um, beef and some refried beans in it. And I just got this recipe off of Pinterest. Like I said, it may not be very good. I never, I never eat them. Uh, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone again. Donnie eats them all the time, but not me. <laughs> I've never actually had a chimichanga, so <laughs> I may, it may not be good at all. <laughs> I'm making beef uh, chimichangas. Um, just wanted to try something quick and fast, so just gonna, I'm dicing this onion up really small because I don't really want it to be very recognizable. 
in the meat. So I um, have got this onion diced up. I'm going to put part of it in there. I may not put all of it. And here's a seasoning mix that I have made for it. Now in the seasoning mix, it has two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic salt, and one teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay, so I kind of thought even just a pack of taco seasoning, it's what it smells like, would probably do the job. But I decided to go ahead and just make the spice mix. So again, two teaspoons of chili powder, garlic salt and one teaspoon of ground cumin okay and it like I said it called for taco sauce and I don't have any taco sauce and I don't even know I may not put I ground up some adobe uh, some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce or adobe sauce adobo sauce adobe adobo y'all can tell I don't know much about Spanish food, do I? Okay. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead while I'm waiting on my meat to brown. Let me check it and stir it and, and do all that good stuff. Got some ground beef. I'm just browning it up. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little onion in here to be browning with it. About a pound, pound and a half. Pound, pound and a half of ground beef. I just thought I'd try this recipe out for y'all tonight. Um, Donnie eats chimichangas all the time, like I was saying. But I don't. avocados. I was going to say they may not be any good because I bought them Saturday, I think. And the last time I made guacamole, I about gave my friend Stephen a heart attack because I blended it up in my food processor and creamed it. And he likes his chunky. I like mine creamy. I like it chunky too. It's fine. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to Make it chunky tonight. Not really saying I'm making guacamole, but I guess I am. I'm just gonna make a little mixture to put on top of the chimichangas. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this avocado. It's about, it's really soft, but I think it's fine. And I didn't put my onion in there like I said I was going to. Let me go do that. on that too. Alright, there we go. Alright, let me go ahead and put a little onion in my meat. Let me put some in my hand. I'm just making a mess, y'all. Put a little bit in here. I really don't want much onion in it. Um, I just want to give it a little bit of an onion flavor, but I, I don't want much onion in it. So I'm hoping it cooks down really good. Okay. Hey, Whitney. All right, so there's a piece of onion. Piece of onion. Here we go. So I've got that going. Let me go ahead and cut this other one. My avocados may be a little far gone. There's a bad spot right there. I'm going to dip it out. Sometimes you can dip that bad spots out, still use it. We're going to do it. I think they'll be all white. We can get another supper anyways. Hey, Sherry. All right. This one has a few more brown spots, but I 
think it'll be okay. These are really soft, but I about waited too long to fix them. I bought them this weekend, and they were just perfect when I bought them, so. Sometimes you get them and they're real hard and you have to wait several days to use them, so we'll see. I'm just going to make a little chunky mixture over here. I don't have any cilantro, and I do love cilantro uh, in my guacamole. And Like I said, I'm not really saying I'm making guacamole, but you could call it that, I guess. I'm just going to I'm gonna chop up some uh, a tomato. If the tomato's still good, because it was about, I bought it Saturday too. Where well, our tomatoes are gone. Gone, gone. I'm sad, because I love my homegrown tomatoes. Who is that? Oh, hey, Karen. Debbie's cousin. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. From Kentucky. I'm also going to try something. I'm just uh, being y'all's guinea pig tonight. Because like I said, I've never made these before. So I'm just going to see how they turn out. But I'm also... I think I'll like them fine because I think they'll taste a lot like tacos. So, I, you know, and tacos are fine. So I think, I think they'll be fine. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to love this supper. It's just not really my, you know, normal cup, cup of tea. But it'll be good. Enough to eat. <laughs> Do I sound awful? <laughs> it'll be edible. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Um, like I said, I've never ate a chimichanga. But I'm going to tonight. It might not even be real, but I ate something the other night, too. I made something the other night that I've never ate before, either. And I ate them, and, and I liked them fine. <laughs> you can tell I don't love something. I say I like it fine, which that just means it's good. It's just not something I crave. Or, uh, it was enchiladas. Donnie likes those, and I thought, well, I'm going to try them. So I did, and I ate them. You know me. I like fried chicken and chicken dumplings. and <laughs> But they, this type of food, I do, I do really like chicken fajitas. And I thought about making those one night. So I, I've got my uh, avocado chopped up and I'm putting some lime juice on it. Just squeezing some lime juice. And I'm not using fresh lime, I'm just using whoop, this little thingy here. I like a lot of lime juice too. So I'm just gonna stir that around. Now, let me check my meat again. I think it's ready to drain. It is, I'm gonna drain the grease off of this uh, meat over here and uh, then put my seasoning on it. So give me just a sec. Actually, I'll just drain it in this little bowl. To make this a little more saucy. Hi Russell, Jill, Jennifer. Yeah, Jennifer. You about faded away on me. Crystal. All right. Jill can attest to the fact that I'm really going out on a limb tonight eating this stuff. That 
I know I'm going to do it. But I've been trying to do better. It's still pretty tasty. I'm going to put some more water in it. So I don't, I'm, I'm not going to put all of this in there. A little bit of it. Okay, those are just some chipotle peppers in a double sauce. I'm going to go ahead and put my seasoning into my meat. Stir it around a little bit. The recipe I saw called for taco sauce. I don't remember how much. I'm just going to eyeball it. Just going to put a little bit in there. Probably about a quarter cup. I didn't put much at all. It's that much. Kind of wet your meat down a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to do also, I'm going to fry some in a skillet with oil, but I'm also going to cook some in my air fryer and see how they turn out. I'm just giving this a try, y'all. See, see uh, how it goes. set this to the side and we'll work on it in a minute. I'm going to add some tomatoes and things to it. Oh, one other thing. It called for green chilies. I don't have those either. But I do have, if I can open them, some jalapenos. And since we like hot, I'm going to go ahead and few of these up and put in there. These are just some pickled jalapeno peppers. So they don't, they're not super hot um, because they have, they've been in that vinegar so it's, you know, they're not super, super hot. It has kind of toned them down a little bit. Call for a four ounce can of green chilies. I might just be butchering this up. It may, it may not be fit to eat, but we're going to see. And that's a small can, so I'm not putting a whole lot in here. I'm just going to chop them up. Did I go ahead and turn that on? I did. Just chopping these up pretty small. I don't want great big pieces of these peppers in there. There we go. So I'll go ahead and put some in the meat and stir them around. Let me go ahead and bring it over here and start assembling. Um, I need to dry my board off. Get that off my board. Off my knife off. Now I don't have the great big uh, tortillas, flour tortillas. I've got the the smaller ones, but I think they'll be fine. Just move the little thing around here. Bring my pan over. That grease may be way hot by the time I get done. Let me turn it off a second. 
All right, so here's my meat mixture. Pretty much taco meat, basically. That's what it is. Like I said, I put, I could have probably used a package of taco seasoning in this rather than the spices, but it's got chili powder, two teaspoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of garlic salt, and a teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay, so let's start our assembly. Now, it, I'm gonna start with some refried beans, and I've just got a can of refried beans. Um, I didn't make any, but you could make them if you want to. And I'm just gonna do a little layer of these beans, not a real thick layer, and just down the middle. I probably won't be able to roll these up. I know me, I'll overstuff them. And then some meat. I'll, I'll have it everywhere. I've dropped it already. You're going to see about this. I don't know. Probably too much meat, but. All right. Now, cheese. I got Mexican style and sharp cheddar. So, we're going to use the Mexican style as far as it'll go. All right. And now comes the <laughs> tricky part. Fold the ends in, fold the side up, and then I'm going to roll it. <laughs> Go in there. Go in there. Now, I'm telling y'all, I've never done this, so y'all could probably give me pointers. I don't know. There's one. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple before I start frying them again, frying them up, turn the oil on again. All right, so there's some more beans. Like I said, I'm gonna try some in the air fryer and see how they do. Probably try to go a little lighter handed this time. I don't know, y'all know me. Okay, some more beans, some more meat. Some more cheese. Hey, Melinda, Jennifer, Krista. Throw the ends in. And, and roll it. <laughs> They'll probably pop wide open when I put them in the oil. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I probably should have got the bigger portillas, but... This was just something I decided to make, and I had this stuff on hand, so I just used what I had on hand. Beans. And meat. I'm gonna fry them in that cast iron skillet. Said put a couple inches of oil in there. I probably don't have enough oil, but I'm gonna fry them and flip them. I don't know. And cheese. And I got some of that melting cheese that we can pour over the top of them too. All right, so I'm gonna try this a little better. I don't know. If you had the big ones, boy, you can, you can make a great big one. But I don't, so I have to make the little ones because I got little shells. All right. Meat. It's Taco Tuesday, so I thought I would try something in that realm. I bet they're good. I mean, why wouldn't they be? But it's just not ever something I've ever ate. <laughs> so, trying something new. Okay, Fagan, be quiet. You have to be quiet. He's not going to be quiet. What are you barking for? 
Who's coming? He sees somebody. Ooh, that and bust. I'll have this everywhere. It'll be all in my grease. I'm gonna go ahead and heat my oil back up. Get it started. And get some more tortillas. Hi, Miss Betty. Okay. So, if you just joined, we're making beef chimichangas with refried beans and cheese. So, I've made some meat over here. It's basically a, a taco mixture is what it smells like. A spicy one because it's got, mine's got some jalapeno peppers in it and some, uh, Chipotle peppers and a adob and adobo sauce in it. So, and then of course your chili powder and garlic and cumin. I like a lot of cheese, so I'd like to put more cheese in it, but but these little wraps just won't hold much. I probably way overstuffed that one. But you know what? I'm not at the state fair trying to win a <laughs> award or anything for the prettiest. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them the folded seam side down first and hopefully the frying of it will kind of seal that. I'm hoping that's my, that's what I'm envisioning here. I don't know. The ones that I'm gonna put in my air fryer, I'm gonna brush them with some oil so that they'll kind of brown up on the side on the edges and then I have chopped up chopped up some avocados and I'm going to chop up some tomatoes and some green onions and put in the avocados that's probably enough I had to threaten Fagan with a bath. He was wanting to play this afternoon. So that's how I usually get him to be quiet. <laughs> I threaten to give him a bath. So here we go. We're going to roll this one. I don't know if that's old, hot yet or not. It's getting there. I just kind of feel how hot it is to my the heat rising off of it. I don't think it's hardly hot enough just yet, but we're going to keep it going. You know what these remind me of? Those little burritos you buy, those little frozen burritos. <laughs> it's kind of what they remind me of. That might be what they taste like. I don't know. <laughs> hey, y'all, we might just all go buy some frozen burritos and do just as well. <laughs> I bet they'll be good though. And if you put some of that uh, cheese, that white cheese on them, probably be really good. I was going to cut up some lettuce too. I don't want any more uh, beans. I don't know why I'm sticking those out. Alright, so that's all of that cheese. I'll have to use cheddar on the rest of them. That's okay. I like cheddar. I didn't load these last ones as much as I did the first ones. I think that's part of the trick of rolling them. If you overstuff them, they're a little harder to roll. I'm gonna see about, I don't know. Let me see, I mean, before I just dop, douse one of those down in there, and just put a little bit edge of them. frying pretty good. It probably wouldn't hurt to let it get a little bit warmer. A little bit hotter. Just a little. Not much. Hey, Stephanie. Alright. Probably put too much bean on them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying it, y'all. haven't tasted this meat yet. I might should have tasted of it before I <laughs> before I did that. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of 
cheddar cheese in it. That'll be good. I like cheddar anyways. That one's kind of overloaded probably. Alright. Hold you up. What you grunting about, Fagin? Hmm? Did y'all hear Fagin grunting? <laughs> He's a grunting. He grunts more than I do. Now that's a lot. I grunt all the time. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Melanie. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and drop a couple of these in there and see what they do. Can you see me? Yes, you can. All right, so well, I got my oil pretty hot. All right, seam side down. And since these are small, I can put several in the pan. And I'm just going to brown them on one side and then, and then roll them over. Okay, so now I did want to put some in the air fryer. So I was going to brush these. A little oil. Let me just get my little pan out. So, let's see. I'm just going to take a little bit of oil and brush it on one side. And then I'm going to lay it in the air fryer and brush it on the other side. I'll just brush it on one side, laying down, and brush it on the other side. I think those are about ready to flip. All your stuff inside is done, so you're really just trying to crisp up your shell. All right, there we go. Let me throw these in the air fryer. And turn them on. I got them on 10 minutes just to start. All right, so I'm going to flip these over and see how they're doing. I don't know if I want to use tongs or what. I'm going to try tongs.
I'm trying to trick him, y'all, but he's too smart. He knows that I'm telling a story. I was trying to trick him into going on the back deck so I didn't have to worry about him. Yeah, he's just too smart. Boy, I tore that one up good. Let me try that one again. Actually, since I've got several made, let me just finish, finish what I was doing over here and I'll let y'all go. So I've got my uh, avocados chopped up with some lime juice on them. And I don't want to put that onion in there because I know I'm going to put a little green onion in it. I think that would be better. <laughs> yeah, Debbie, you know how my dog listens, don't you? <laughs> he don't listen at all. <laughs> Usually, if I could get his mind off of it onto something else, then I'm okay. But if I can't get his mind off on something else, then he's just going to keep on and on. All right, I'm just chopping up this very ripe tomato. It is very ripe. I'm going to put it in there. And I have some fresh garlic. But I'm just going to put a little garlic salt. I don't want it to be overwhelmingly garlicky. So, I'm just chopping this tomato up. I'm doing a terrible job of chopping tonight. Okay. And I want to check out these back here. They're still fine. They're not not really even brown yet. We're going to just let them keep going. I have uh, lots of options here. You can put peppers in them. You can put uh, onions. You can put cilantro. You can put all kinds of things like that in there. I'm going to make it pretty basic tonight. These onions, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a fridge clean out in case you didn't notice. <laughs> I'm using the last of my little green onions that I had, and my avocados are just about ready to, but they're still good. You can still use them, so we're just going to chop these green onions up a little bit. I do wish I had... Some cilantro because that would really be good. That's good enough. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic salt. If I can find my garlic salt, here it is. And now let me just stir all this up. And this avocado is ripe enough that part of it's going to kind of mushy in and part of it's just going to be um whole you know chunk chunky but i'm just going to stir it up like so and i just want to give it a little bit of taste i didn't put any black pepper in it mm. that's good of course i like to just eat avocados just slice them and eat them So, there's that. Since I have never had one of these, I'm going to go ahead and give one a try. I'm going to go ahead and give one of these that I have. Um, there we go. Put a little bit of uh, avocado on it. And, I don't know. I'm going to give it a try, guys. And I'll let you know how it tastes. And I'm going to show you the air fried ones in a moment. I'm just going to cut it. I guess I could just bite into it. But... Alright. Here we go. It's a big bite. I want to do a big bite. is good. <laughs> if 
Have I been missing this all along? <laughs> I wouldn't eat them. Who knew I would like that? Y'all, that's good. Man, I forgot the white cheese that I've got in there to drizzle on it. Mmm. Mmm. That is good, y'all. Very good. Okay, these are these are looking good too, so let me show y'all those. Hey, fast and easy, guys. That's beef chimichangas. So, give it a try because it's really good. I never dreamed I'd like that. <laughs> let me show y'all these. A little lighter side. They're not hardly going to be as greasy because I just brushed that oil on top of them. good and toasty too. I think it's a winner. That's a hit y'all. You can fry them in the grease or you can air fry them. Beef chimichangas. It's Taco Tuesday and that's what we're having in the kitchen with Julie Ellen tonight. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all give it a try. Keep watching, keep sharing my videos. Um, the last time I looked, uh, we were at 950 followers, so I'm gonna hit a thousand. I hope. I hope I hit a thousand, you know, pretty soon. So I don't know why. I just, I just wanna hit a thousand. <laughs> but thanks everybody for watching, and there's sunshine in my soul, and I hope there's sunshine in your soul today. So hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be looking for more recipes to share with y'all. Um, like I said, brown some ground beef. And I believe you could use a pouch of taco seasoning. I think that's pretty much what I made with the chili powder and the cumin and the garlic salt. And then some taco sauce in it. Or like I made the, I used these chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. And a little water and mix those up. Some some chili peppers or some jalapeno peppers you want to put in there. Corn, like I said, I saw one with corn. And then just put it on a tortilla with some refried beans and some cheese, roll them up and fry them. Air fried or in the skillet with some grease. And then top them however you want. So y'all have a great night. Thank y'all. See you later. Bye.